Hey guys, I'm Will. I go by WR, and I'm doing. A, I'm hosting a gay pride installation piece here in Vancouver, BC, for the 2013 Pride. Uh, it's going to be an art exhibition of all featuring all my own works, and you can check out all the different paintings already that I have on YouTube. I'm also going to be painting some live paintings for you on YouTube, um, and uh, as well as I'm going to be uh, um, bringing my art, like I said, to uh, to a, uh, <clears throat> an event for you to see. Um, this is one of my latest pieces. Uh, this one is really, really cool. This is one of my favorites, and it's hard for you to see all of it right now, but when you come to the show, you get to see the more detailed closeness of this piece. This is awesome because it has all the aspects and the colors of the Gay Pride flag, and they're all um, done as stars. Seems pretty simple, right? Um, the only thing that's different and unique about my painting, considering that's to do with stars and to do with the galaxy, um, is that the difference is that each unique um, color is its own star formation, which is an actual star formation. For instance, the yellow right here represents Gemini, and it's actually in the shape of what you would actually see in space as Gemini. This one right here, represented by pink, is called Taurus, and you can actually look in the sky, and the, the constellation Taurus will actually look exactly how I painted it in my painting. I mean, not exactly, but it is the same shape. Um, same with cancer. Cancer represented by um, the color silver or white usually in, in generic um, 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 advertisements or, or the majority of astronomers believe that that's the color associated with cancer. So I've left it white. Obviously that's not part of the gay pride parade or gay pride, sorry, um, gay pride, um, like, um, um, sorry, one of the gay pride flag, sorry about that, I got a little bit of a brain fart there. Uh, obviously it's not part of the gay pride flag colors, but to me it still was something I wanted to add in there to give a little bit of oomph, to sort of balance out the white moon that I have happening here. <clears throat> the nice thing about this painting too, is I really wanted to capture the fact that this is a night scene. Like this is, this is nighttime, this is like, uh, it's got the moonlight reflecting, and if you look at it closely, the moonlight isn't on every single building. It's not on every single aspect of every building. It's only outlining the spots where the moon would naturally hit it, the light would naturally hit it. Over here we see that there's nothing because these buildings would be blocking these buildings. So they wouldn't get as much moonlight, whereas these ones would get full moonlight because they're right underneath there. Um, so it gives it a lot of perspective in this piece. Another cool thing about this piece is I decided to make a, differentiated, a differentiation between, um, uh, what do they call that, between houses that use like an incandescent bulb versus like a high-rise office building that has more of a greenish tinge. I don't know if you've ever looked at office buildings, but if you look at them at nighttime and look off to the side a little bit and let your eyes see it, you'll notice that all office buildings, or not all, sorry, that's wrong, but all office buildings that use um, a fluorescent lighting, for instance, um, will come across as a green hue from the light. And that's because the fluorescents are on a green base. They have a green base of underlining light pigment. Whereas on a incandescent bulb, the underlying pigment is warm or more on the golden or, or yellow golden side of the glow spectrum. So I thought it would be kind of interesting to show that I could do both, have a, a, a lighter spectrum all across the shade to show the different variables in an actual real city. So I thought this was one of my favorite pieces. This is like a really cool piece to me. So anyway, like I said, um, I hope that uh, you show up for my art show. It's going to be a great time. I know you're going to enjoy it. Uh, it's going to be like, you know, coffee, cake, and all that kind of stuff. There'll be food there to eat. You can even stay for dinner if you really wanted to. And the cool part about that is is that it's a, um, it's a free show, but there will be donations accepted for sure for the artists, for me to hang out and keep doing my, what I love to do. Um, there will be stuff there for sale, all that kind of stuff. And... Um, yeah, I just thank you very much for your participation and checking out my videos. Check out more videos because I'm going to be painting more live for you. And uh, there will be more videos to see. You'll be able to have a little explanation of each piece that I've done. Again, thank you YouTube and all those partners for doing such a good job advertising me and being such a, being such a good sport. Thanks and have a great day.